If you ever wonder what kinds of sponges are safe to use in an aquarium and what kinds aren't, I'm going to show you the difference here because there's a lot of confusion for people. So there's a couple different kinds of sponges on the market. These are all just generic things that I've got laying around. Uh, I went out and bought a couple just for demonstration. So I want to show you the difference between these. Large sponges, this is the most common thing that you'll find. And I've obviously cut it in half. Uh, but you can see here, the pore size is not uniform. There's some very, very small pores and some much larger pores. And this is a sponge which cleans pretty well, but it is made out of cellulose and hemp fiber. And that means that it will break down, it will rot. They also most often have anti-mildewing agents in them, and that stops them from being safe for a fish tank. They'll have antibacterial and anti-mildew agents in them to keep them safe and to keep them from discoloring because they are a material which can be eaten by bacteria. If you cut one of these and you stick it into a filter and you let it sit for a while, it will work, but after a couple months when you go to look at it, as soon as you touch it, it will just disintegrate because the underlying structure of the thing will have been eaten away by the bacteria they're looking to keep. So the alternative for large sponges are these, and you can see here through the packaging, let me go ahead and open this up real quick. You can see here, this is a very, very uniform pore size. There's not really much variance in it at all. And this is a polyurethane sponge, and polyurethane is just plastic. So this sponge is perfectly safe to use as long as it doesn't have any additives. Uh, you can look around. These are pretty hard to find by themselves. I picked this up at Do It Best. Do It Best has a lot of garbage products that don't really work. This is one of them. This, this is horrible for cleaning because there's no real texture on it. It won't really hold on to anything. There's, there's no scrubbing surface of any sort. Uh, but they do work pretty well if you have an aquarium filter that loads from the bottom and is forced through. If you have a top flow filter, it, it's not porous enough to let anything through. But if you have a bottom up filter, it will let enough liquid through that these work. There's also these, which most people are familiar with. And these are entirely cellulose. These are the ones that are usually squishy in the package. These have antibacterial and anti-mildew agents in them. These are not safe for aquarium use. And they will usually say that on the back. Right there. Not for aquarium use. Uh, these things have horrible additives which are not good for your fish, and the entirety of this will rot. The bottom is cellulose, the top is cellulose. This will fall apart. This is not safe to leave in water for a long time. But this generic sponge here, you can see it's got the polyurethane foam on the bottom, and this top is actually polyamide, which is basically nylon fiber. So this won't rot, this won't cause you any sort of problems. Uh, you can tell the difference between these if you have something that's old and there's no wrapper uh, and you're wondering about like the green surface, if it's safe or not. If you put this in your mouth, it will have a texture, but it will have no flavor at all. There will be nothing there. Whereas this, which is a scour pad that is a knockoff Scotch-Brite, is made of cellulose. And if you put this in your mouth, it will taste dirty. It will taste kind of like, I want to say limestone. Uh, it's got kind of a chalky sensation. It, it soaks the moisture off of your tongue immediately. You can tell that this is something that is absorbent because it's made of cellulose. And this is not. This has no interaction with your tongue at all other than the unpleasant texture. Now, you can see in, in other sizes, again, uneven hole size, do not use. Not for aquarium use. The other thing to look out for is very frequently these ones that are generic, you know, this giant pack here, these are perfumed. I don't really know why they don't have soap in them. Run it through water. There's no lasting bubbles. 
There's no soap or anything in this. It's just got fragrance in it. Um, and I don't know what the fragrance is or if it's safe. So you really want to get these that are scent free. But even if you don't, if you want to try to rinse it or wash it or whatever, you can see here there's a vast difference in pore size. So this one on the bottom will let a lot more water through. It'll do a lot more filtering than this one on the top unless you've just got a high pressure thing that's going to force it through. So that's how you can tell the difference between sponges. Hope you found that helpful. We'll see you next time.